am just about to open it and see how it is. Right away, I'm going to tell you guys that this delivery was terrible and I will tell you in the rest of the video why it was terrible. I'll just unbox, show you all the products, and then I will give my review and why I like or do not like ButcherBox already. <laughs> And apparently all this meat is, should be vacuum sealed slash frozen, so we will see in a bit. Okay, they just have in ingredients, I guess, in case you want to make something from their products. They want to thank me for their order. Okay. Let me see if I can show you guys inside the box. And then what I'll do is I'll take them out and then show you individually what I got. Okay, so that's what's in the box. Um, I was expecting differently, but I'll go over I'll go over that in a second. So that's what I got. Okay. Okay, so as you saw by that little clip, I got some salmon fillets. Um, they come with the skin on. And it is flash frozen, which they do advertise that. So I got two pieces of that. Well, let me know down in the comments if you guys can guess the price of this package. And I got some um, beef sirloin. Again, flash frozen. Um, let me see if it shows the ounces on there. It doesn't. It says the weight of it. So it's 227 grams. Um, and that is the piece they gave me. I believe I got two of these. Yeah, two of those again. Um, then I got some 100% grass fed and finished. Raise without the use of and added hormones or antibiotics. Um, that's how it looks like. It says the weight on there, so I guess that's a plus. I kind of figured what the weight of the meat would be and how much I ordered when I ordered it online, but I didn't know for sure. And oh, I only got one of those. Okay. One uh, grass finished beef. <laughs> then I got some ground sirloin burgers. So that's going to be five burgers in the pack. Um, oh, I think. Okay. This is the only thing that shows the calories on there so far. That's the only thing that shows the calories in there. Um, so it shows the calories, carbs, protein, no sugars, everything I need. And ingredients are on there as well. I don't know if you guys, you guys won't be able to see it that well. But that so far shows what's in there. On the side as well, it shows um, the ingredients and the um, calories and everything. So... Then I got some lean ground turkey. I wanted to give that a try because usually I eat a lot of um, lean ground beef. So I was like, let me try some lean ground turkey. I'm pretty sure I tried it before, but I'm not actually sure. So I was like, let me get that. And again, this one is good. It shows the ingredients, calories, everything, the macros. 
And I got two of those. So it's two, I think it says two pounds. Two pounds of um, lean ground beef. So there you go. And then lastly, I got some hot Italian pork sausage. So this is gluten and nitrate free. The ingredients are there on the package and the macros as well. So that's good they included those things. So that is good. And I got two packages of that. And that is it guys. That is it for the box. And let me just quickly put those things away and I'll tell you guys my experience with Butcher Box. You don't want to miss what I'm going to say about Butcher Box. So let me put those away. Okay guys, I finished putting all those things in my freezer from Butcher Box and this is my honest review of Butcher Box. Um, so what first started out, they were okay with um, getting the time from when they will deliver. They emailed and they texted me, which was good, to make sure I was home. Um, but one thing I did not like um, is that the delivery driver, I don't know if this is all their drivers and I don't know if it's because of what's going on with Corona, but the delivery driver was terrible because he called and he didn't, he didn't say what he was going to do. He didn't say if he was going to leave the package there or he was going to come upstairs and leave the package here. Um, but I buzzed him in so he could come in because I figured he's coming upstairs and you know, two minutes, three minutes go by and I'm like, okay, that's strange. I'm not on a high floor, so he should be here soon or he should have, have already been here. So then I decide to go downstairs and when I get downstairs, I'm shocked because he left the package right under the speaker of my lobby. And if anyone, you know, uses common sense, they would know that usually you don't just leave a package there because anyone could have taken that package so i live in a building um there's no conjugate but even if there was a conjugate he could have asked like he could have left it with them like i said there isn't one but to make sure that the package is delivered properly to the right person he should have told me that I should come downstairs or that he was coming up. I understand things with COVID right now, so I could have met him exactly when he was leaving that package there. Not that he just left it and it was, you know, there for like two, three minutes. And on top of that, he left it right beside a heater, right beside the heater where, you know, of course I'm home, which is good, but if I wasn't home, anyone could have taken that package and if no one decided to take it, it would have just been sitting there near the heater, defrosting like it actually started to do. So I'm completely shocked that he would even do that. I just hope none of their drivers do anything like that at all. I don't know if he was just neglectful of his job. Um, but anyway, so I got the package, which is good. Nobody took it. And my honest review of the whole outlook of this butcher box is it is not worth it at all um i've showed you guys inside the box and if you did go ahead and guess down below before i say the price of the box just giving you time to comment how much you think it is okay so that whole box was supposed to be a one person box they have a one person and I think three to five and then like some somewhere bigger. So you can get an individual box, which is supposed to be for one person and then family boxes. So I got the individual and that cost me $138, um, taxes included and no shipping fee. But if you really think about that price for $138, that is probably where they include the shipping price and the taxes. If you go to any load 
local butcher there is gonna be stuff that are a lot cheaper um i thought when getting this box that the price was a little high but i thought maybe that the meat was you know more meat than i thought so only on a few things did it actually say um the pounds like like i showed you guys on the sausages it showed two pounds and on the turkey it sh the ground turkey it showed um two pounds but on the rest of the meat it said like one piece two piece somewhere like that but you're thinking for 138 dollars it's gonna be you know a decent sized piece i think on their site it said um 10 to 12 ounces i think if i'm correct but you guys saw it it's not even i don't even think that's close to the ounces um obviously i'll know for sure when i defrost it and weigh it because i will um i'll know for sure then um but so far my honest opinion is they are not anywhere close to being worth it and their delivery service drivers are careless um they should take more precautions i understand it's covid right now but they should make sure that the package goes in the right hands because for 140 dollars if that package went missing i would lose it so as you guys can see this is not the american butcher box there's i thought they might be the same to be honest because when i saw people talking about butcher box i thought it's like national right but then when i looked at their site and i looked at uh they have butcherbox.com apparently and butcherbox.ca so one is canadian and from what i've seen from the reviews butcherbox american is not too bad the canadian version i'm never gonna purchase this again so um obviously i'll probably mention in videos to come if the meat is actually good because they claim that they're grass-fed, you know, all the healthy things we should be taking in um, from the farm. So I will give you guys more of an in-depth review as I do maybe a vlog or something like that. But so far, I am disappointed and I do not see myself ordering from Butcher Box again. You guys will see another review from me. I am actually going to get from new churro market soon and we'll see the process with them if you guys don't know they are um thrive market sister i believe so in the states you guys have thrive market and here we have new churro market so i'll be trying from them i know a lot of my audience is from the states so hopefully this butcher box um review didn't bore you and hopefully you wanted to watch anyways if you are new here do not forget to like this video subscribe down below and you will see more videos from me so i will see you guys soon with a new video bye guys